Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Yo estoy bien, yo estoy bien, y espero que tú también. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, today, we are going to be reading a book about Olivia. Olivia the pig. The author is Ian Falconer. And also the illustrator. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. Let's find out about Olivia. Hey, this is Olivia. She is good at a lot of different things. <laughs> She's telling a very loud story. She is very good at wearing people out. Oh, she's got a lot of energy. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He is always copying. He's always doing what Olivia is. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Whoa, there goes Ian running away. Who do you think's inside of that scary uh, box? That scary bag on her head. Yep, that's Olivia. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, and her dog, Perry. And Edwin, the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Oh my goodness, Olivia, why don't you just pick something? On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. She has flippers on her feet, goggles on her eyes, floaties around her arms. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. Have you ever made a sand castle? She got pretty good. Whoa. I've never seen that in our sand table at preschool. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? I think that's what her brother is wondering. She must be pretending she's on that stage. But there's one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. I don't know. That's pretty interesting. Oh, as soon as she goes home, she gives it a try. Look at that. That's a pretty amazing painting. However, I don't think she should have done that on her bedroom wall. What do you think? Mm, not a good idea. 
time out. <clears throat> After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. Well, how about four? Two. Three. Oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, You know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. Oh, look at her dream. Looks like she's on the stage singing. Oh, boy. The end. There's stuff on the cover. So families, remember tomorrow is our Zoom um, socialization. If anybody is uh, participating in that, um, 9.30, just look for a text or email from us. Um, okay. And we have one more very important thing before we say goodbye today. Today, it's Millie's birthday. Oh my goodness, Millie. Happy birthday. Hmm. How old do you think Millie is today? What do you think? Oh, I heard somebody say four. I think somebody said six. She is five years old today. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five years old, Millie, and hang on just a second. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Millie. Happy birthday to you. Okay, Millie, try to blow out the candles. Yeah, the candles. Let's help her. <gasps> oh, boy, Millie. <clears throat> we miss, miss you. you. Five years old. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Millie.